Hey everybody, it's Tony, Car Stars, and I'm in the shop. There's my fan, because it's hot as a uh, coon-tailed cat sitting on a drain pipe in the middle of August, whatever that means. All right, so I'm doing a DOD delete and I've decided I'm going to keep my factory uh, valley cover. So what I've done is I've removed the, um, those solenoids, which are right there. I removed them from there. So you just simply unclip this end. And then there's a spring type retainer that's in each of these that you have to get out. It's kind of a pain because unlike a, kind of like a snap ring, these uh, lay on top of each other. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So this little ring, of course we're looking at it upside down. So this little ring right here is continuous all the way around. See how this lays on top of this section of the ring or the snap ring? So you have to get your pick under there and then uh, it's not the easiest thing to do because it's very, very tight. And so I had to use um, this pick right there, and I was able to work it under that edge and then finally work my pick around and get it out. And then you've got this wavy uh, spring underneath to give it some tension to hold it in. Once those are out, those uh, solenoids pop out real easy. Easier than my camera focuses, apparently. Okay, focus, dude. There, there we go. All right, so now what I'm doing is I watched a video where a gentleman was talking about doing the DOD delete and how to make sure you don't end up with oil leaks. So I'm using the Lingenfelter um, rivet kit to block off those towers that are in your valley between the cylinders that these DODs right here feed into or out of, I'm not sure which. But you stick a rivet. Some people drive a ball bearing into the hole just with a hammer and they fit perfectly after you drive them in and it blocks it off. But I'm using the rivet kit. I'd show it to you, but I don't have the block back from the, uh, from the machinist yet. But another thing that the uh, uh, gentleman does on YouTube that did this delete uh, while retaining this valley cover is he sticks a sleeve in this hole because there's a passageway from here where your oil pressure sensor is. There's a passageway from here to here. And um, you can see this passage right here and it feeds all these uh, solenoids. So there's a hole in the side of this tower. And what I've done is, according to his suggestion, you can just see it in there, is a piece of sleeve. It's split. And so it's a 3 8 sleeve, steel sleeve, uh, that I have spread. I've spread it out. Stuck some uh, red Loctite on it and drove it in there. I used this little fitting right here, which fit perfectly. Should be a 3 8 fitting. It fit perfectly in this hole like that. And then I just hammered that sleeve down in there and I put a little red Loctite around the outer edge. And uh, first I cleaned it out, of course, with some acetone. Uh, and then used this to drive it in there. And it will actually seat down there because it's a bit of an edge. And so the uh, sleeve I got from the hardware store is, was an inch long and I had to cut about a little more than a half off to get it to fit. But this is what the sleeve looks like if I could focus. I hate this, I hate using this phone. This phone sucks. But anyway, you can see they sell all kinds of bushings and sleeves, but this one was already split. You can see the split right there, get that one because otherwise you're going to have to cut it to split it open because I don't think you're going to find a sleeve that fits in there absolutely perfectly. Um, I tried to rough up, I didn't leave it as rough as this from the raw cut, but I did rough up the outer edge of the sleeve with some sandpaper and a file to give it a rough outer edge so it would hopefully grab the aluminum of the wall a little tighter. And yeah, so I don't think that'll spin and I sure as heck hope it doesn't spin. And even if it does spin, I'm contemplating 
whether I'm going to drive anything in here to block these off because these are going to be blocked off with the rivets but I don't know if the oil feeding in here would then if if it got past my little sleeve if it would just dump out here and I'd lose all oil pressure so I might pull these uh, o-rings out of there if I can and then uh, just seal up all these holes maybe with some epoxy I don't know I don't think I'm gonna do that because I that sleeves in there pretty tight and with the red with the red Loctite, I don't think it'll go anywhere. But otherwise, that's how I did it. The gentleman that uh, had the video sells some stuff. Uh, I don't know what his name is. Um, he said he was going to sell a little bushing sleeve kit to stick in there. Um, but yeah, that sleeve right there cost me $1.69 at the hardware store. So if that's what you want to do, that is an option. So that should take care of any uh, problems doing a DOD delete using the factory valley cover um yeah so i hope that's helped somebody if you have any questions let me know or any comments and please subscribe talk to you soon